Hey guys, Mike with Mike's Road Trip here. I am a travel video blogger, and today I'm gonna give you a look at the all new Fayetec G4 handheld stabilization gimbal for GoPro cameras. First, I'm gonna unbox, then I'm gonna give you some close-up shots and show off the capabilities of the G4. As you can see, the packaging is quite nice, almost Apple-esque. The aluminum construction is both attractive and durable. After you've removed the G4 gimbal from its packaging, you can unscrew the base and insert two of the rechargeable batteries. Also included are two additional batteries, a micro USB cable, an AC USB charger, an extra set of screws for mounting the GoPro, in case you lose one, a European adapter, and finally a charger that uses the USB cable. Once you've gone through all the contents, the next step is to install the camera. You'll notice I have a filter to protect the GoPro lens. This Blur Fix Air filter by Snake River Prototyping only weighs 7 grams and is the lightest and best quality filter I've found. Next, all you have to do is turn it on and wait a moment for the gimbal to initialize and balance itself. The on-off switch is located at the bottom of the handle. There are three modes in which you can operate your G4. I'll go into those in just a moment. Now, as a travel video blogger, I'm always trying to improve the quality of my work. One of those ways is through stabilization. And there are a number of devices, obviously the oldest and uh, tried and true method is uh, using a tripod. However, that doesn't really work for handheld shots. So you'll get something like a Steadicam, such as this, which are quite good, but they take a lot of adjustments to get it just right and there are all these different variables. I mean, just having that shut throws the whole thing off of balance. With the Fayetec G4, it, you just don't have those issues. You just throw the GoPro on and turn it on, and you're good to go. I will do some side-by-side -side comparisons so that you can see what I'm shooting. Well, the light was fairly poor on those first two examples, so I'm going to do another one, and you can judge for yourself the stabilization capabilities of the G4. And you may want to uh, test out the different modes depending on the types of shots you're trying to capture. Now, I just started using the G4, so like any new tool, it'll take some time to learn best practices in order to capture the best possible footage. 
With that said, I think the Fey Attack G4 is a great addition to my camera bag of tools. However, at $375, it is certainly not for everyone. Well, I hope this video on the Fayetec G4 was helpful. If you have any questions at all, or if you own one of these, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on...